Hey, this is your boy Wes Fisher. I put this video together to show you how I shave my head. Maybe you're bald, maybe you're going bald, you want to know how to shave your head and how to prevent razor bumps. This is what you want to use. It's called Ted Skin, and this is how you do it. First, you want to get your head nice and warm with a hot towel. You really want to set that hot towel on your head so you can get the the hair uh, follicles to loosen up and to make it easier to shave. You do the same thing for shaving your face. You might have seen barbers do this. This is the best way to get the nice clean shave and prevent razor bumps. All right, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it, but this is the shaving cream that I use. It's fragrance free, so that means there's no you know dyes and chemicals and it's really good for preventing bumps. And once again, if you use that Ted Skin after you get done shaving, I'll show you in this video, it's really gonna help you prevent razor bumps. Now I'm assuming you're watching this, you know how to shave. You know, you just put the shaving cream on your head and you just lather up and you get it started. It really doesn't matter what razor you use. I tried bump fighter razors and stuff like that. It really didn't matter. I use a Harry's razor now because you can buy them at Walmart, whatever. And I just get to work. Um, the two mirror method is the best way. It gets you a nice big mirror that you can hold in front of you. And that way you can shave the back of your head and make sure you see everything. I typically always start in the back because that's the harder place to get. So might as well get that out of the way as soon as possible. So you just wanna, you know, keep your mirror up and just really just <laughs> shave your head. I mean, people make it complicated. They buy these special razors that you can put in your finger. I bought them before, I forgot the name of it. Um, but you really can just use a normal razor. If you got a mirror and you got the right angle, it's really not a big deal. Obviously, you want to be sure to get behind your ears. So, you know, make sure you're looking and <laughs> make sure you're feeling as you go. Um, I usually do one pass and then I apply some more shaving cream so I can do the next pass. And that way I know I got all the hairs and I got everything I needed to get done. All right, once you knock out the back, then you can just move your way to the front. Now the front, obviously, you just need one mirror, just the mirror you got in front of you. It's going to be a lot easier to do the front. So, you know, you can make sure you're nice and thorough. I always go, you know, towards the grain. I don't go against the grain. If you really want to prevent razor bumps, do not go against the grain. I've seen some videos online. I mean, tell you the truth, guys, as a black man, when we got curly hair, our hair is going to curl as it comes out of the skin. So if you go against the grain, that's going to make it this even worse. So always go against the go towards the grain. It may take a little longer this way if you got a lot of hair in your head, but hey, it, it really helps prevent razor bumps. most important part if you haven't heard me before Ted skin is the product you want to use you know put it on a little piece of cotton a little cotton ball um, put a little bit of product on there and just literally just dab it on your head just like alcohol um, I don't know why it works better than alcohol like you don't want to use alcohol this just works better I've never had any issues with this all right guys thank you for watching uh, sorry, I don't have the best cameras yet. I don't have the best equipment yet, but I'm just getting started YouTube guys If you are enjoying my content, I would love for you to leave a like below and um, give me a thumbs up And I would love for you to subscribe. I'm on my road to 1,000 subscribers. That's my goal 
this year. That's my goal right now. Um, I think right now we're at 142, 143. So if you enjoy the content, guys, please leave a comment, like below, and please subscribe. All right, catch you next time.